I'm Luisa Gallia. I used to be a chef on sailing yacht for 10 years. Um, I started off as a chef in Malta. I went to ITS to get my proper training and then I worked in local restaurants and um, hotels. A few years later I felt the itch to to go away from the island and I landed a job in, in the south of France which is a yachting hub and after about half a year not working as a chef I started to miss it. Seeing that um, I was meeting a lot of people who were working on yachts and I was kind of in the industry, it intrigued me. So um, I decided to research agencies, yachting agencies, to see how I could land myself as a chef on a yacht. Um, I went to see an agent and they let me know that with my qualifications and my experience I, they could have found me a job as a chef in a villa, but I really wanted to get on yacht, so they suggested I would do my STCW. I took my STCW, which is your fire safety training, um, and three weeks later I was driving down to Italy to meet the captain and the stewardess to go for my first interview for a sailing yacht that I would join. Um, I went, I did my second and third interview they let me know I had the job on condition I had my B1, B2 visa, which is very easy to get in Malta. So I came home, I got that, flew back to La Spezia, started cooking for the crew and cooking for all the meals that we, I was meant to prepare underway because we were going to cross the Atlantic. And within November, I was sailing across the Atlantic for the first time. I spent four years on that yacht, very happy um, cooking for on charters for the owner and various regattas and then after that I moved on to do freelance for some other uh, sa large sailing yachts and also um, race crews and then I landed another couple of jobs on sailing yachts. Um, in all I spent uh, 10 years working globally on on super yachts. I loved the traveling, I loved the sailing, I love that it exposed me to a lot of raw nature that you see only when you're crossing oceans and that you obviously get a lot, you get more respect and appreciate more the planet that you're living on. It makes you very conscious about what a wonderful world it is. Um, I understood um, the beauty of the wind because working on sailing yachts I realized how powerful it is. Um, to move these massive vessels and I also loved that wherever I went I was exposed to many different cultures, many new ingredients, many new cuisines which and then I adopted into my cuisine so it broadened my horizons of ingredients um, and also exploring different cuisines and recipes. Probably cooking for the Kennedy family which came on board which I did not expect and I found out two days before the Kennedy family was coming on board and they asked, they said, don't worry, you can make some simple sandwiches. But obviously I did not make any simple sandwiches. Um, racing in foreign regattas like the St. Bart's Bucket, I never thought I would go to St. Bart's, let alone do the St. Bart's Bucket about six times. And also helping um, race crew um, prepare for the Sydney Hobart. So I was cooking for about 70, um, professional rockstar sailors um, for the Sydney Hobart in Sydney and then I spent a year following that sailing yacht around. <laughs>